Hey there! Welcome back to another episode of New Beginnings. Today we're on the starter island that I have cleared from all of the cobblestone that was around it. All of the cobblestone there. Uh, I removed and I moved all of the items that we had on the island over here. The blood altar, the hellfire forge, all of my items, the bed, the crafting table, all over to this island. This island will soon just be the Botania island, but we're going to have to wait a little bit for that. I came over here uh, to use the last of the seasonal forest terrain crystal just around here here just once or twice maybe get uh, a decent island going on and this will be sort of our hub island in a sense this will be the island that will sort of sit in the middle of everything and will connect everything to everything uh, I plan on doing a little bit of a bridge to each of the separate islands so for example well the for right now the shape of the island is a little bit off and I'll probably end up fixing it a little bit since it's just sort of diagonal like this but for example if we just want to get rid of these and bring it across like this so we can have all of this cobblestone out of the way we can make ourselves a pretty decent bridge going across here which I think will be perfectly fine for what we needed to do. I mean, it's just a small, simple little bridge, and I don't think I'm going to have any problems with it, and I don't think you're going to have any problems with it. So the actual plan for today is to make a Botania Island. Now, why isn't this breaking? There we go. Uh, is or not a Botania Island, a Blood Island, or a, a Blood a Blood Magic, Blood uh, Blood Magic Alchemy Wizardry. There you go. That one. <laughs> A, a uh, blood magic island, a specific one, because the blood magic uh, mod needs a bunch of space for the runes, and I thought why not just start it now instead of waiting and possibly just screwing some stuff up later because we don't have enough space, so why not make some space now. Off camera, uh, I have been working on a small system for Endermen for the mob farm. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than I thought, so I still have to work quite a few things out of it. Uh, for example, uh, it needs power to reach up to the mob farm and that is only done with sparks and sparks are sort of weird and hard to get in a sense well not hard to get um they just take a little bit but once the little bit's over then you you know you're fine uh let's just go like this boop and go crossed and then i will fix this in a second so like that and then one two three one two three break you come back over here and let's use a little bit of cobblestone so we can get underneath but um we need power to actually be able to do what i would like to do uh up there which requires sparks plus if i want it to have a little bit of automation then i need to actually find a way to bring up items and there's nothing like a tesseract in the mod pack so i have to sort of figure this stuff out on my own i'm thinking item collectors in a system which i was doing in the creative test world but uh sadly just sadly uh it, it didn't go that well it didn't uh didn't do that well i sort of was having problems uh i created a system that was working decently for the most part um it just had a problem with like the range and it would have costed a lot of uh materials to do it so i'm trying to figure out of some slightly better ways that i can figure out how to do a new system once we're done this bridge i will gladly take you into the creative world so you can see see what I am talking about uh, like that uh, once we're done the bridge I will take you into the creative world so you can see what I'm talking about and get your own sort of idea on what I am talking about and maybe if you know how to do what I'm trying to do like really easily then you can help me out I don't really know but uh, it's worth a shot everything is worth a shot once so then oak wood and come uh, here yeah we'll just go like that so then we can go like this then get rid of you and go like that and also actually I think quark is in the mod pack so there's probably some half slabs that we can grab from oak no hold on slabs I thought slabs yeah quark is in the mod pack hold on here uh, maybe it's crafted a different way um oak no, yes, yes, oak bark slabs, oak bark, oak bark, okay, that's easy enough, so we need some oak bark, the oak bark is created like this, alright, there we go, that's all I needed, 
and then we can come here and add a little bit of detail like that boom boom and then finish off the slabs properly how did they go they went uh well they started here like this boom boom then moved down although uh, i like the idea i like the whole thing of the slabs that can go like up like straight up like this they just get annoying too quickly for me though it's really really annoying yeah, small bridge like this. I think I like this, and then we just add some torches, but I don't have any on my person. Oh, uh, I have some here. And so that's that. Right there we go. Boom, boom. And then I will do one here off camera. But for now, I want to show you the system that I was planning on doing in the creative world for this world. All right, so we're here in my creative world. Let me grab something here so I can make a little bit of a better example. Enderman. Um, I was playing around with the teleporters. They're fun. I think I'm going to use them instead of my system over there. But let me explain what I would like to do. So, um, we need to transport mana from down there into here into blocks that need to be uh, manaized so you can use mana and this is a daffa milk which doesn't actually need to be there because it's not pushing items and this is a vincolotus a vincolotus uh, which is a flower that in botania will make it so endermen that try to teleport anywhere will get teleported to the flower instead so the whole entire plan is have that next to the mob farm and enderman spawns in he touches the water he tries to teleport away or he teleport he tries to teleport away himself and I have a problem where they go down to the platform down there, but there is a chance that they will get teleported to the Ving and they will fall down to their death. And that's where I collect them because we do need some more ender pearls and such like that because diamonds are going to run out soon. And not all recipes uh, can go between the pearls and the diamonds. Some specifically require diamonds, some specifically require ender pearls. But I was trying to figure out a way to make it easier like a small automatic way to send mana up because uh, I'm slightly confused by the sparks it sends mana up I think into the pool but I also had to set up some endo flames and set them up anyway so I don't think the sparks actually do something that I would care about but there's is the system that I had here and the system I had here uh, consists of a chest with some advanced item collectors the item collector would only pick up a certain type of item when it is in the hopper it will reverse the signal letting the items in the hopper here go into here into the open crate the open crate will then drop it so if we just start this now we can place these back and say this is where the islands are and I want to get something up there so there's mana so we drop it the item collectors will take it it'll reverse the system the item open crate will drop it and then another one over here will pick it up using the same item filter or any item filter for a grass block and pick it up and then probably have something like this where we can have a hopper and then uh, like this and then an open crate and that'll drop it and then using that without an infinite loop will be up here and it'll drop it there for the coal and then the, yeah yeah it's a it's a con convoluted system and I think once I get the materials for it <laughs> instead of doing that that really crazy thing as cool as that would be I think I'm just going to use these simple teleporters and do it manually uh, they don't seem to have that big or they don't seem to have any limit for how far you can go so I will be using these instead of this con uh, convoluted machine unless I figure out a way to make it a heck of a lot smaller and a heck of a lot simpler so yeah that's pretty much my systems that's what I was trying to run through in the creative world for uh, enderman capabilities in the mob farm all right so here is the island here is the bridge that leads over to the spawner their spiders and stuff get stuck in here but now I've just thrown up some uh, half slabs so they can't get out but here are the bridges the simple little bridges and the main hub island I went ahead and crafted another seasonal forest uh, one to sort of thin or even out the island and I might even just even it out a little bit more yeah that, that feels a lot better that feels a bit better just because it, it was so weird for a second there it was um it was oddly shaped and I don't like oddly shaped uh, things it uh, felt weird so there we go here's the hub island all nice and also since I pretty much instantly forgot to actually do it Relog and then everything is now the seasonal forest over here, which makes me slightly happy because 
there is a still little there's the patch here from the spawn thing but you can't really see it it uh i don't really know what to do about that i don't think i can actually get rid of that but now um just because we sort of have the theme of going from here to there i was thinking of going out that way but let's try our best to go out this way and also just because i'm getting annoyed with my shovel my shovel usages uh let's see if okay and then it starts raining and i can't sleep because it's not nighttime okay what a good time let's see boop two living wood twigs iron ingot mana steel making ourselves a man of steel shovel because we need one honestly it, it, it gets too annoying to me it gets too annoying that i'm always through and using shovels all right so it's sort of this way so if we just want a straight shot we should start here so shave off this part of the island a little bit we're going to end up losing some dirt here uh that's not a big worry dirt is now pretty much infinite for us so there we go then if we come back over we can actually grab our supplies and that should be perfectly fine for that and maybe who knows it's nighttime enough that i can sleep nope still not okay oak wood fences torches and our half slabs and i think that's it let's see if we can grab another stack real quick oops uh, another stack do i have another stack in here of wood or did i throw that somewhere else no i think that's the only stack of wood we have all right so note to self uh do a little bit more chopping all right so how long are these bridges one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven all right so we're going to have to go out eleven starting here so here and here so one and then we will start heading out so one two and then three same over here one two three uh, this is going to get really risky, really quickly. Okay. Uh, actually, no, no, it won't get risky because we're actually going to do this the smart way. We're going to grab some cobblestone and use it as scaffolding, just in case something glitches out with the uh, pebble mechanic, like the open hand pebble mechanic. Like in case something glitches out with that, I don't want to take that risk. That would be too scary. So there, boom, 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 and we'll clean this up after. So after these three, it went one, two, three, four, and then down for three. So that's easy enough. So one, two, three, four, and then down for three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then up again another two, or up again another three, I think. So one, two, three right so then one two three one two three yep okay and then fix that so it's pointing the right way do some risky jumps three three another piece of cobblestone another piece of cobblestone wood wood grab our slabs and start doing what we do with the bridge which is actually making it look decent with a little bit of indents and such again i like the whole half slab thing that can go up and straight and whatever it just gets so annoying to place it because at least with the carpenter or i think the carpenter blocks ones i could be wrong it's um i, I want to say it's the carpenter blocks one you at least get like a really good uh look at how you're placing it because there is like a little diagram that pops up these don't have that and it gets annoying all right so just plop that back down real quick and go one two uh well we probably need two so boop, boop, boop. all right wrong way I keep forgetting all right there and then the birch goes there 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 and there so then we can pillar out two one two three four five here and then use the planes and i'm using the planes for a specific reason because it probably won't generate trees and i know it'll always be flat but that's not the purpose i just don't want it to generate a whole bunch of trees like the seasonal forest would because of course it's in the name seasonal forest now i don't like i know the blood magic island is massive i just don't know how massive i would actually like it to be i just want to uh make make this a better shape so hopefully if we can just accomplish that get ourselves a nice big decent island shape there we go i feel like that's good all right so i'm going to cut this down 
and replace this with dirt, cut, cut down the trees, uh, make sure the island is all good, and then I'll be back with you to actually do what I planned on doing today, which is making the island look all spooky and creepy for the sole purpose of blood magic, and I don't think these are, eh, well, they're not, uh, completely straight together, but, uh, better than nothing. Alright, so, uh, be right back, gonna take a quick nap, finish up the island, and then I will be back to, uh, spookify the island for blood magic. Ah, yes, the plains biome, a classic biome in Minecraft that's about to be ruined by these little things. These scorched pasture seeds from Botania, which are wildfire on grass, and they look real cool. Watch this. Boom. And then it spreads. And that's our island, and it even has a cool, like, flame effect, so we're just going to spread these around pretty evenly, hopefully, and just get the entire island to look a really cool, dark red for blood magic. Okay, so let's wait for those to spread, see where we need to place the next one, let's place it like there, and we need maybe a couple more places, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight more which is easy, so if we just go back here and go Scorched, the Scorched Pasture Seeds are just a Pasture Seed and some Blaze Powder. What's a Pasture Seed? Grass with... into the... into the thingy, the... the alchemy, the... the, the table from Botania, brain, no work, good job. And I believe we even have some left, and if we don't, of course, I always do what I do, and I am resourceful, and I will use all of the things that I have in my abilities to actually do what I can do with my abilities. It's not much, but I promise you, when it's something, it's something. Alright, so there we go. Got some grass. We need to just come under here and remove the alchemy catalyst so they don't turn into ferns. Drop them all in there. Let's get a whole bunch. Replace that. Place back the dirt. And let's grab our blaze powder. Around eight. Yeah, that should be perfectly fine. There we go. Boom. And then we can come back over here. Like, look at that already. Like, look at that from over here. Does that not look really cool and menacing? Now, it'd be cool if I could throw in a whole seed. Uh, let's throw it right there. Um, if I can throw in a proper seed... Uh, we can just get rid of you. You're just a lone little thing. Boom. There we go. And the whole island is now spooky. It's spookified. It's really crazy. Except for these two. You two can leave, actually. Are you just... Hold on. Are you by yourselves? Do you have any parental... Oh, they spread to things itself if it's grass. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Do we have any grass on us? Or some dirt? Well, we would have if I didn't just throw it off the edge. <sighs> okay, hmm, and also, my plan was to actually have some spooky saplings going along there, but then I realized the blood altar really, really needs a large amount of space, so I decided against that, because obviously we're probably going to even have to expand the island a little bit bigger for the huge blood altars that the mod needs to actually be able to do stuff, so that's that, and I was going to make the dead tree. Now let's let's go over something really quickly. Maybe just because I don't understand evil craft, but let's just take a look at this. A dead tree, which is in a blood infuser. All right? So, we're going to search up a blood infuser. Blood infuser. Fuser. This is a blood infuser. The blood infuser is made with cobblestone and a blood infusion core. How do you get a blood infusion core? Well, you need some dark power gems and some hardened blood shards. How do you get some hardened blood shards? Well, you need some hardened blood. And I don't really know how to get hardened blood, but let's just backtrack just a little bit. You also need a dark power gem. How do you get a dark power gem? Well, you can get it from a dark power block and a crafting table. But there's more recipes. And the only other thing... To make a dark power gem is a blood infuser. So you need a pre-existing blood infuser somewhere to make another blood infuser. Now maybe that's just me and my lack of the mod talking, but really does that just not seem like some really, really bad logic there in, in, in like bad hindsight thoughts on terms of the mod maker's part. Now again, could always be wrong, might just be talking smack, don't really know, but from how it seems, when you're first looking at it, it seems like you already need a pre-existing evil craft blood altar thing, and yeah. Alright, so let's just throw you, like, down in the middle of the area, it don't really matter where we place you for now, because we'll be back there later, and for the final thing in this episode, I wanted to just add another little island 
to the mob farm because why not everything else is getting its own island today it's an island palooza i just killed the witch it's an island palooza so why not just give the mob island its own little <laughs> give the mob farm its own little island just for fun All right, and there is the mob farm island. Just a couple leaves that are sort of taking their sweet time to reload. I need to find a way to kill these witches and stuff easier instead of keeping an eye on the mob farm and coming over and killing them myself. Also, I made another chest with another uh, little collector thing on it, so it's a little bit easier once again to get more mob drops because, again, it picks up everything in the area, and that includes all of these flower things, so I have to click the, pick them up manually before it does and clogs the system. But... That should be this, or that should be this for this, that, the, you, me, what, who, that should be it for this episode. So, I hope you enjoyed me sprucing up the area a little bit, adding another island and another island and another island, and I will see you in the next one. I promise actual modded content in the next one. Whole bunch of blood magic, probably, or automation or something like that, you know, with the mob farm idea. But, see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, stay fancy and peace out. Have a good day.